What is up, you guys? This is your boy Andy Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. So I am here at Kotaku.com, and um, this is some pretty cool news because the manga publisher Shueisha is gonna start a game company, right? It's gonna start a game company, and they already they already have some plans, right? So Shueisha, in case you guys did not know, brought us titles like. Uh, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, Hunter x Hunter, Fist of the North Star, Slam Dunk, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and Dragon Ball. Alright, they are responsible for publishing those. So, round of applause. Now, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell, future notifications, and like the video. I'm on a journey to get 1,000 subscribers, and I very much appreciate your help, guys. Thanks a lot. Now, um, here at Kotaku. Shueisha. Okay, it says Famitsu reports that the iconic publisher established established Shueisha Games on February 16, 2022, to develop and release games for consoles, PC, and smart devices. Yes. Now I am a PC gamer, and when I say I'm a PC gamer, I'm not saying that I play Fortnite or World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy 14. Although I should play Final Fantasy 14. I'm not much of an MMO player, but I like playing games on the laptop. Okay, I like I like downloading games from Steam, from from Epic Games, and and playing it on my laptop. You know, with a controller. It's it's you know it's I have everything at the palm of my hands. It's very comfortable, you know. Uh, so yeah, they're making games for consoles, PCs, smart devices. And by the way, the the uh, the mobile game the mobile the market is huge. The mobile market is huge, and it's better to it's better to you know release your game on multiple platforms than just like the consoles. Because although let's say if they publish it on Nintendo Switch, you know Nintendo Switch has a lot of users, but the but they're actually missing on a lot of other people when they don't publish to the PC or to the or to the mobile device, right? And then it says last year the famed manga publisher Shueisha. Um, um, yes, Shueisha Game Creators Camp, which was a project designed to support indie game creators. So yeah, they're so they're really about indie game creators. Which honestly, nowadays I, I'm really I'm really looking at more indie game indie games because um, I want to be an advocate for you know for the gaming community to like. Start leaving behind these big, these big companies that just want to like monopolize everything, and give more power to indie games. For God's sakes, you know. This, according to his big summit listing, this project aims to supply this knowledge to guide indie game developers and help them to produce innovative games. There are already a handful of upcoming titles from from the endeavor, including Oni, The Tower of Children, uh, Captain Velvet Meteor, The Jumping Plus Dimension for the Nintendo Switch. Okay. Shueisha is currently working on several big projects, collaborating with big, big time game companies. These project, these projects will take advantage of the Shueisha talented manga artists as well as it, as its in-house manga editors. Right. So we might have because you know because they're a manga publisher, I'm thinking that we're gonna have more games that look like you know with, with anime style, anime manga style, like uh, kind of like Twiwi, the world is with you, Neo, right? They have more games like that. I'm jumping on it, man, because it's really cool stuff. And finally, down here, it says the creation of Shueisha video game companies is a big deal because this will mean the publisher is far more involved in the game making process. Until now, Shueisha seems to have been a licensee. And this is where I keep telling you guys. I keep telling you guys exclusivity is the name of the game, you know, because instead of licensing things, you can make money licensing, but you can make... But it's much more beneficial to be the owner of your content. So now they're going to make the game and publish it. And they own the game. And they just put it out there on Steam, uh, Epic Game Store, Nintendo Switch, and, um, and, play, and PlayStation, Xbox, whatever, right? It's there, but they are the owners. They don't have to license things out. And that is pretty much it. This is really cool news. I'm actually looking forward to this. And... Um, and I can't wait to see. I mean, I really hope they make more games like The Warriors with you, Neo, because that game really did not get the recognition it, deser it deserves. But what do you guys think about the manga publisher Shueisha getting into the gaming business? I mean, 
everybody else and their mother is getting into it. You know, uh, Netflix is getting into gaming and a couple of other people, uh, well, a lot of other companies are getting into gaming that before n never actually, they were never actually involved in gaming. Whatever your thoughts are, comment below. Let me know what you think. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Andy Matrix. Godspeed.